afternoon. Um, I got off to a late start this morning and I wasn't uh, too concerned about getting here too early because the plan today is to jump in the river. Well it's fall now and that river is cold so uh, I'm waiting for the sun to shine on me so I can get in that river. So what I'm going to do now is shoot up and there's a section of river um, we're about in the middle of it right here, and I'm going to check this area right out here is my main target, and then I'm going to go downstream a little bit, and if I got time, I'm going to go upstream a little bit, but I don't think upstream is going to be too good. Um, this looks really good to me. So it's late, so I'll uh, quit talking now, get suited up, and let's jump in the river. Well, after swimming around a bit and uh, checking things out, I decided uh, this crevice looked pretty good, so uh, I'm about to get right to it. The location on this crevice wasn't the best, but the gravel was packed in there so good that uh, I decided I got to got to give it a try because uh, you know it takes some flow to get it packed in this tight even though the gravel was packed in there super tight um, after working this thing out I couldn't find a speck of gold in it the crevice here I thought would be really good it had a nice seam at the, the bottom here had a good clay layer in it but I wasn't picking up anything, so I decided to go ahead and uh, break some of this bedrock so I could see back in further and uh, see if anything had fallen down in the cracks in the bedrock. So took my bar, pounded it in, and uh, managed to break some, some fairly good-sized chunks of the bedrock off. Once I got the bedrock removed, I was able to uh, get in and really clean the crevice out. But after all the cleaning and fanning, same as the other one, looked good, but no gold. Now this crevice was in a little faster water, which made it a little more difficult to, uh, to work. A lot of the, the gravel would just kind of uh, roll back into place. But uh, gravel was packed really hard and it looked like a pretty good crevice. And once I got that top material out, we finally found our first piece of gold. Not real big, but it's gold. Now as I continue working on down on the crevice, I was having a hard time with the uh, current washing the gravel right back on me. But uh, to my surprise, got down there, there was a little tiny catch, and it ended up having a nice little piece of gold in it. Now 
Now this piece was a little more like it. It was a nice chunky piece and we also picked up a couple of pieces of lead out of that hole along with it. Now this crevice, the gravel was packed so tightly that I could not move anything with the crevice tool. So I had to take the hammer and just beat it all up. And in the process, I managed to knock a piece of gold out. Well, now our jar is beginning to look a little bit better. Now, as I worked my way down the crevice, I was having a hard time keeping the camera in place. So I didn't actually get a shot of uh, when I uncovered this nugget. The jar is looking a lot better. Now as I worked that crevice on down, it was uh, looking a lot better, but it was getting later in the day and it was getting really hard to see down into the bottom of that crevice. But I did manage to pick up our nicest piece of gold so far. Now I just set that piece on the bedrock because you can't see but just out of the, the picture there's another piece of gold that I spotted but uh, I had no idea the camera wasn't on it. But I managed to pick that one out and so we got two nice pieces out of that crevice. I was having a real hard time with the camera keeping it in one spot. Well, we're starting to get a good looking bottle now. And just tuck it away for safekeeping. Now just out of the picture, you can't see it, but I managed to fan out another piece of gold out of that crack. Now this crevice was starting to get pretty deep and it was getting uh, early dark. I hadn't had the sun on me for quite a while and I was starting to get worried that I might be leaving some gold in the bottom. That water is starting to get a little bit on the nippy side. Uh, we haven't had sun for a couple hours now and it's starting to get a little too dark uh, even though we're still finding gold we're, we're gonna have to call it a day because i'm afraid it might be leaving some i can't see down in the in the crevices anymore and if there's any small stuff i'm i'm afraid i'm i'm gonna be leaving it but we have uh we did pretty good today i don't know if uh let me see if I can get that to focus on that. There we go. Well, I think what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out of the wetsuit, gather everything up, but I think I'm going to leave the wetsuit in here and uh, come on back in tomorrow 
see if we can finish a few of these crevices up and uh, pick up a little more gold because uh, we're doing pretty good. Okay, well, I'm going to get changed right now and then we'll get ready to get out of here. Well, I got everything all packed up and put away. I'm going to take a quick run upstream to uh, take a look at an area up there. There's a sharp turn upstream. I want to see if there's any area up there we might do some sniping. But other than that, all I got to left to do is put the pack on and then uh, we're ready to hike out of here. So uh, I'll see you back at the house. Well, made it back home and uh, yeah, I'm a little bit tired. But that uh, chunk of river I took at, took a look at upstream looks really good to me. So uh, I got that gold setting on the scale. So uh, let's take a look at it right now. Okay, well let's take a look how we did. I'm going to weigh it in uh, grams first. Looks like 5.14 grams. Or three point three penny weights. Well, five grams is a pretty good day, I think. Uh, plus, it's all nice chunky gold. Now, tomorrow I want to get a little earlier start. Uh, that um, chunk of river, you know, I'm gonna look see if there's any more crevices we can open up in there, and I really want to be able to see down into the ones we've already opened. Uh, when, when I got out of there, it was just getting where I couldn't see the bottom. So I want to make sure I didn't go off and leave any gold. And then that uh, chunk of river that I went upstream and took a look at, it's a, it's a ways upstream, but it looks really good to me. So uh, I'm thinking that uh, we may head on up there if we get a chance also. So right now, uh, I want to get things ready for in the morning. So if you're not already a subscriber, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And right now, I'm really chomping at the bit to get back up there. So I'm going to get ready. So you have a wonderful day.